Well, good afternoon, Scrap Arenas and Scrap Arenos. It's another fine afternoon, as usual. And here I am, squinting my eyes. Oh my God, look at it, terrible. Um, bin time sessions, is what I'm gonna call it. Why? Because the phone's on the big, big skip bin. Okay, it's not that big, it's exaggerated, right? You know, it's kind of like when you catch a fish and you tell your mates, Oh, mate, I caught a fish. It was, hang on, let's move back. It was that big, right? But your mate wasn't there, so he, could, he couldn't see it because really it was only that big. You know what I mean? We all been there, right? Storyteller. That's it, storyteller. That's going to be me right now. Don't mind my eyes darting left or right because I've got children playing on the, uh, riding their bikes on the road right in front of me. So I've just got to keep an eye on them. And, um... Yeah, they've been hounding me all afternoon to play with them, so I had to uh, do the uh, daddy thing, you know, and jump on the trampoline with them and play around and try to make them jump as high as they can if you, if you get me drift, you know, and then they fall down and someone might get hurt a little bit and then they're up again playing, etc. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, so anyway... Let's get a, a little bit serious. Look, I'm looking a bit rough as guts at the moment. Okay, nothing too pretty. Best I can offer, okay? So uh, I'm here by myself, apart from with the children. The wife's gone to the, um, to the club. She wants to go blow 200 bucks on the pokies. I'm not a fan of pokies, to be honest, but um, she doesn't mind the odd play here and there. So seeing that she does a bit of the work, out back there when I'm not home, you know, strips the cable when I'm at work, helps rip apart the air cons while I'm at work, you know. I guess it's okay, I can live with it. But anyway, the reason why I'm here today is, um, I had someone ask me, uh, asking, how do I get my stuff? What do I do to get it? So, um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of insight. Now, I've done something like this before in the past in an older video, but let's just give it a bit of a fresh update, all right? A fresh update because this is now, and that was back then. I seem to, oh, my subscribers and all this the stuff I'm growing, you know, I'm over, what, 216. That's a mighty effort, I think, to watch me. You've got to be kidding, aren't you? I don't mind. Bring on the thousand. Hurry up, I don't have all day. Come on. Now, again, we're getting sidetracked and distracted, talking garbage. Um, again, let's, got the hand clapping thing happening, all right? Rubbing the hands, all right? It's like the karate kid with Mr. Miyagi. Rubs his hands really quickly like this because Daniel's son is injured. Okay, he places it down and oh, Daniel's son's all, all fixed. Magic, right? I'm doing it again. Anyway, okay, so this is why I'm here. Um, now, what I do to get all my stuff is, it's, there's no great genius behind it. I'm, I'm always an idea sort of person, always have been for a very long time. You know, try to think of ways to make an extra dollar here and there, whether it was back in the day selling cutting boards at the Yamundi markets, or, um, you know, doing a bit of uh, commercial cleaning. Uh, and, uh, at night time, after my day job, when I was back making um, timber staircases, which I did for 15 years, you know, just try to do what I can, you know. So, what I do to get all my stuff is, essentially, is um, I advertise. Now... I get onto Facebook, I'm pretty sure most of us are all on Facebook. And um, what I do is, I join all the local buy and sell community pages, which are uh, within reason to travel. I mean, in saying that, I do get the odd silly person who might live miles and miles. Ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of travel away. And I think, why the hell are you on this page when you live all the way down in Ipswich? 
Then I live all the way on the other side of Brisbane. The north side. They're on the south side. Okay. Someone waving. But yeah, you get asked some stupid questions. Sometimes you just gotta live with it, okay? That's just what happens with Facebook. So I join all the uh, buy and sell pages which are within a reasonable distance to travel. And um, I just put a little, a little advertisement out there on those pages saying, wanted, I buy air cons, or I buy electric cable, I buy copper, blah, 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 this and that, okay? Now, um, sometimes you can't compete too much with the scrapyards, right? Because you gotta keep in mind that you're traveling to them, okay? So I try to work my prices um, in a competitive manner with the scrapyards, right? It might not be as high because I'm still gonna make a dollar regardless, right? but I have my special place where I go, where I'm gonna make that dollar, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make maybe $2, $1 profit per kilo, $2 profit per kilo, possibly a bit more depending when it comes to your copper and your electric wire. So, I do your, do your homework first, find out what your local yards are paying, okay? And then, um, you've just gotta offer a little bit less because you're doing the traveling. If the scrapyard was going to pick up the stuff from the customer, he ain't going to get the same price as if he was going to the yard to pick it, to drop it off, okay? So, um, essentially, so what I do is I know where I sell my stuff. Um, the price of electric cable at the moment was $4.05 a kilo or $4.10 a kilo, okay? So at the moment, I'm buying electric cable from, from people in my acts at three dollars a kilo now maybe the local yard around the corner from me is paying three dollars ten i don't care if somebody wants to get three dollars ten a kilo let them go and get it okay that's what you want go get it yourself okay but if you want three dollars you don't want to leave your home i will come to you and then i'll go pick it up okay and that's the same with the copper, okay? Where I, where, where I sell my copper, whether it's Bear Bright, um, number one, number two, I'll price accordingly, so at least I'm making at least probably, a, a, at least I'm making $2. $2 a kilo on every purchase of copper that I do, okay? When I get it from the air cons, you know, the money from the air cons that you make is phenomenal profit, right? that's where your money lies. So if you can get air cons, buy them off uh, your Facebook on, on your uh, ads, great. So um, basically that's what I do. Facebook ads, your local buy community, your local buy community pages, chuck an ad up there of what you wanna buy and uh, just put a price next to it. And um, I'm sure you're gonna get bites, okay? People are gonna message you because you know how it is, okay? Everyone's busy or people are lazy, okay? That's what I've learned. People want things done for them, okay? It's kind of like when I started doing the can of bottle pickups. Two years ago, back in November, um, two years ago when the 10 cent scheme kicked in, I was already advertising buying cans and bottles. In fact, I was the first person who advertised buying cans and bottles for five cents each. That was the uh, October, two years ago, uh, which was a month before the scheme started, I thought. Because originally I started walking around the, uh, the job sites because I'm always there at job sites anyway, delivering concrete. So I see plenty of stuff get thrown our way in a skip bin. So again, Go around new housing developments, okay? You can find stuff there in the skip bins, whether it's cable. Um, if you're into scrap metal, you'll find plenty of that. Um, Rio bar, all that sort of stuff. You'll find all that there too, if that's what you're into. Personally, I don't deal with shit. Okay, I just want good stuff, okay? I've been through shit. I've, the shit you can get for free anyway. You don't have to buy that, okay? If you're into washing machines, fridges, dryers, 
dishwashers. Okay, you can find all that also on uh, Facebook and also on your local buy and sell pages. Um, there's always people offering free pick to come and get come and get the washing machine. It's broken, blah blah blah. I don't know what's wrong with it. Could be just a simple fix. And if you're a little bit mechanically minded, you know, and you might have a bit of a clue on how to fix it, well then you just fix it with whatever you've got to do, and then you can go sell it off for a a bit more than a just a scrap price profit. Okay. So yes, yeah, so there's there's plenty of crap out there to get for free. On, uh, on Facebook, there's always people throwing away fridges. Oh, my fridge is broken. I need it gone. Can somebody get it? You know how it is? Just look out for it. They're always there. They're always there. Okay? It's the, once, once you start looking and you keep searching regularly on your marketplace, these things will just appear when you're searching. Okay? And again, as I mentioned, um, if you uh, go around your, um, the new housing developments where the houses are being built, you're bound to find at least electric cable in the skippings. I mean, you're not going to find it in every single skipping, but you will find it. It's often the, uh, the TPS cable, sometimes the, uh, the low grade, the really low grade data cable, you know, the, it's got the blue plastic cover and it's got like Oh, 20, 20 tiny, tiny little wires inside it. But still, I'm getting $4.05 or $4.10 a kilo for that at the moment until prices rise. So if they rise and I'm paying, still paying $3 a kilo, well, then I'm going to make a dollar or something a kilo on that cable. Right? Same with copper, etc. At one point, I was buying copper for uh, that's where you strip right. Um, I mean, I'm still paying $9.50 a kilo for your strip right, and when I sell that, I'm getting, what's that, $9.50, I'm getting $11, what was that, $11.70 or some, some crap like that, whatever it was. So I'm still making half a, a, a decent profit on that. Sometimes a wife can be a little bit too greedy and wants profit margin to be a, be a fair bit more, but... You want to build your reputation, okay? I, I'm not here to um, just go for, few, for a huge profit margin, okay? Better to make a $2 plus profit than nothing at all because no one thinks, well, I ain't gonna sell to this fella because he's not paying enough. And I've seen that too with um, people on Facebook. Their bloody profit margins are ridiculous and I think, fucking hell, mate. You're not going to get many customers if you're asking, uh, you're offering to pay this much for that. You know, you've got to be reasonable, okay? You've got to be somewhat competitive with, with your, with your uh, local yards, as long as you know a better yard where to sell, okay? That's how you've got to kind of operate. I've got my better yard because I've learned the yard where all the scrap yards essentially were okay, tailored. Not all. Um, a lot of them. Some scrapyards have their own deals with overseas customers, but then there's also quite a lot that um, will sell directly to the yard where I go. Okay. So uh, who's that? Okay, let's just go for a bit of a walk. Uh, no, nah, we're all right. We're good. Let's see what the kids are doing. Careful on the road, boys. Come back this way. Anyway, anyway, hang on, bear with me. Me and Jack are joined each other's company, if you know what I mean. No, it's not Jack. You idiot. Johnny. Now, you would have also seen in the, uh, the video where I did the cable sorting. A lot of that cable. Car coming, boys! Crazy lady, that one. Trust me. Very retarded, that one. Drives way too fast in a little street. 
Now you may have seen in the um, cable strip, um, the cable sort of video I recently posted, that um, a lot of the cable I was um, um, throwing in the drums to sell as is was this two and a half mil TPS cable, right? Now I'm sure I've mentioned it in a video before. I'm going to mention it again, okay? Um, the two and a half mil TPS cable, I do regard worth stripping, right? I find that the plastic to copper weight ratios around about 50-50, okay? But um, for now, I have uh, plenty enough cable, which is bigger than the two and a half mil to keep me occupied. And therefore, I don't need to keep this laying around until I've run out of stuff because I will always get stuff. So um, yeah, usually two and a half mil TPS, it's worth stripping if you've got, quiet please, it's worth stripping if you've got nothing else to strip, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Strip it if you've got nothing. Anything below the two and a half mil in the, in the TPS, like the 1.5, nah. I just ditch it. I just kind of uh, into the drum and I'll sell it as it is. As which is what I'm doing with the two and a half for now because I don't need to leave it lying lying around. So um I will just sell this as it is for now because I've got plenty of other better stuff to worry about. Uh what else is there to talk about? Hey, wake up. Yeah, don't fall asleep yet, alright? Don't fall asleep yet. I'm probably also due for another um, a scrap run soon. I've got a little bit of a collection building over there. Probably another couple dollar, you know what I mean? Yeah. When I say a couple dollar, it's usually a couple grand. So, um... We're almost there. We've got a bit of stuff there. Nothing outrageous. You know, but we've got a bit of stuff. I did a bit of uh, sorting yesterday. I think I was sitting down under the house till around about, I don't know, 6.30 or 7 o'clock at night. Um, sorting out brass. I had a heap of brass, which really was kind of all over the place. It wasn't in its clean and dirty. Um, categories and I had to um, go through that sort out what I what was clean and what was dirty and what was clean but was kind of dirty if you get my drift I had to uh, just make the adjustment to uh, bring it to a one spec anyway um, hang on do you want to look at it yeah all right, let's go for a walk. I'll show you, all right? Now, I'll weigh this. Christ, it's, I need a good angle. What's my best angle? I don't think any is my best angle, but that, all right? So basically, down there, I'll show you. Just be patient. Uh, I weighed it already. It was 32 kilos of clean brass, but I did add a little bit to it earlier on so we're probably maybe around about 33 34 kilos so let's have a look i'll show you all that there okay clean brass 33 34 kilos worth that there dirty brass how many kilos i don't bloody know i haven't weighed it okay but hang on while you're here right let's do it camera Phone in hand, okay. The old bathroom scales are good enough for this stuff, all right? Let's have a look. 14, 14 kilos. Good enough for me, for now. Back to me again. Hello, Roger. No, my name's not Roger, it's Dan. It's just talking silly. Get used to it, I do it all the time. Kind of got this personality stuff, right? I can like channel shit, you know what I mean? Channel that sort of personality. 
then when I get bored, I just move on with it. Just go back to myself again. Maybe channel something else. Go back to something else. Right? It's just what I do. You know, it makes the kids laugh and makes the wife laugh. And if it makes you laugh, great. Okay? Back in school, I was the class clown. Always making people laugh. I still do it now. Whether it be family members or people I don't even know. If maybe if they're down in the dumps or whatever, I just do silly things and then I'll start laughing and cheer them up. But anyway, I think I've babbled on enough rubbish. Have a look at that, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of talking jargon. You've got to be kidding. You watch. When I put this down, the kids are gonna hand me to play scooters with them. I had that the other night, Friday. Friday or Saturday, that what's, yeah, Friday. Doing some work. And when I finished, kids were wanting to ride their bikes. And I had to ride my scooter with them on the road. Probably did that for about an hour. It was normal, bloody dark. Still riding a bloody scooter with the kids on the road until it was time for dinner. And that reminds me, dinner. Uh, the wife's got um, some uh, spaghetti bolognese prepared for us. And I've got to head upstairs and give it a bit of a stir. Forgot about it. Distracted. I'm going to wrap it up, okay? Thanks for watching. If you did, and if you didn't, you better watch it. And um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you like the information I provided you. Even though it was a little bit distracting. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, okay? And... Um, have a great afternoon and don't forget tomorrow's Monday although if you live somewhere else in the world it might be Sunday but it's Monday for us tomorrow back to work back to delivering concrete oh yay oh joy let's do it okay but once it's Wednesday again that's my Friday as I said it before so again ciao for now adios amigos au revoir